That's How's it. the eating? Uh -huh. So turn around, model. That's nice. Now, what was, was the outfit made just for this special occasion? Uh, no, I have to say this one wasn't in particular, but there has been many in the past that have been made just for an event. Mm -hmm. And what event was this one made for? Um, we won't see this showing up on any other album covers or anything no, like that, right? No, no, this is an exclusive time outfit. Okay, exclusive time right, outfit. Right. And she can make you one as well. Something, really? Something so, with beading on it. Sure. Yeah, a little more than that, though, right? Right, more right. Beading in. Okay. I, th nice. I think you'd like a probably different color, too. Maybe black beads. Black beads. Sure. Yeah, that'll work. So these are nice outfits. Yeah, they are. They're great outfits. We're going to have to get uh, great the three of y'all together. Yeah. When we get that happening. It's been a fun week, hasn't it? It's been we great. We just had so much fun it's this great. week goofing around and, you know? I agree. Yeah. And we're not done yet. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, I'm signing off for now. I'll be back with uh, the Jimmy Jam, a little more of the Jimmy Jam fashion report in a little while. We're back with more video soul. I'm Donnie Simpson, along with the time, having too much fun. <laughs> we thought Jesse in action. Uh, in a couple of minutes, I guess we're going to show Morris in action, solo style. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Morris, were you always this cool, man? Were you cool like that when you were five or six years old? Well, I guess if that's what you want to call it, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been a process of growth, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. If you look in the dictionary under cool, they got your picture there. Yeah, well, we were working on that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Webster turned it down, mm -hmm. you know, the Funk and Wagnall, you know, they, they weren't ready for it yet. Not yet. And it was too cool. <laughs> 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 Who came up with this whole concept of the time? Well, mm -hmm. Self-explanatory. Is that yeah, a self-explanatory question? Self yeah. I think we live in it quite well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the self-explanatory? That's like that's like taking the fifth with you guys. No, no, that's what you see is what you get. Self-explanatory. <laughs> no, the time came for flight time. Very simple. Everybody knows this. There will be a quiz at the end of this show. Everybody knows there was a group flight time mm -hmm. that was together. There was some few other groups around the city. We all were like in rival bands. <clears throat> and um, Morris said, I want y'all to be my band. We said, cool, we in. That's it. That's right. That's, that's, that's when we, we yanked Jesse out the street, brushed him off. Right. <laughs> Get him a guitar. <laughs> said, boys, a <the> star. <laughs> and we were the time. And that's without ever having heard him play, right? He just had that look. Oh, we heard him playing. Oh, rock yeah, we see. heard him play. He's playing oh, in the yeah. alley. I was loud. <laughs> you could hear me in other states. <laughs> right. Still can. Jesse, yeah, I was going to say, you still loud. Yeah, yeah. Very Jesse loud. came with a reputation. We heard about this uh, guitar player, a black guitar player who played with rock bands and took 20-minute gu guitar solos without the band. That's it. And we said, well, we need to check him out. In, in biker bars. It's like bars. Bars. It's like a chicken one. That's right. <laughs> That's true. It's like the video. <laughs> I told you it was brought back bad memories, didn't I? <laughs> brought back bad memories, nightmares for me. <laughs> Who was the inspiration, Jesse, for you? Uh, definitely Jimi Hendrix, Bean, Jam, <laughs> Terry, <laughs> Morris. Jerome, Monty. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, you know, for guitar and all that stuff, but I mean, just as a person and exuding yourself, you know, mm -hmm. these cats were like great. I mean, when this band broke up for me, of course I went and did my own thing and all that kind of stuff, but I really missed these cats. I mean, it was like the first time I toured without them, like, it was weird, and then going to the same halls and all that kind of stuff without these cats was a trip. Mm -hmm. So these, I, I was very inspired by the whole lot of these cats, definitely, sitting right here. Thank you, Jesse. You got oh, it. Yeah, 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 that was showing my yeah. first team right. on chorus, yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm still throwing that one chord with the side of the house. I'm throwing 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 the side well, that's when it started getting strange for me. It didn't have the same vibe. And, and I think that was really the beginning. Well, I know that was the beginning of the end because, you know, I was used to looking back and seeing 
familiar faces, the people like my brothers, that I knew, you know, what what to expect, you mm -hmm. know, out of the evening. And when we started getting the new members, it was just, uh, it was too different. So who were those members? <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> he really did. He really did. You, he don't know who they are, but he know where they at now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know where they're not at now. Yeah. <laughs> he really didn't. He used to just come in and say, Jesse, uh, have them play some. <laughs> and they would play some, and somebody would play some, and he'd go, Jesse, come here. <laughs> go tell them, don't ever play that note again. <laughs> so I'd go over there and say, don't, he don't ever want you to play that note again. <laughs> Don't ever play that note in front of Martin. And, that, and that's the truth. That load he say he does not know. He is not. He's not. He's not kidding. He really didn't know, and he didn't care to know. So, you know, you can't. You know, argue with that. Wow. Monty, you did some work. Uh, well, of course, Jimmy and Terry did most of the Janet album, but on the um, Control album, you did the Pleasure Principle. Mm -hmm. uh, the, yeah, which is a fantastic job. Monty. Monty. Yeah, speak up, Monty. Yeah. They don't think you can talk, man. They told and me he's they not did. our accountant. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Chat. He just holds all our money for us. Monty will mess you up. Yeah, Monty just pulls the finest girls. I know, he does. Mm -hmm. They go for that quiet type. That's right. right. That's right. Monty, you, you just sit, you just always so cool. Just so quiet and cool. I'm here. There's a face, I'll nudge you, and otherwise. <laughs> you, don't get a whole lot of that, you, know? you don't get a whole lot of space with these guys, do you? That's all right, then. <laughs> it's so, company to be in, right? So, Monty, what was it like working with Janet in the studio? It was great. It was, it was very short. I just spent a couple of days with her, but she's a wonderful person, great talent. I mean, obviously. What more can you say? Self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. <laughs> that worked. That worked. The fifth. <laughs>